Hi, I'm Ensign Strider with a quick update video for you just to let you know where we're at at the moment uh, because my Batman Eternal issue 10, that's issue 10, but issue 10 review is late. Some of you have probably already noticed this. Um, I just ran out of time and I was distracted. It was a fault on my part. Um, I accept all responsibility. It was a mistake on my part. I did intend to get this out last week, uh, but things happened and I allowed myself get to get distracted and it is my fault. I know the comic book reviews don't really get many views on my channel but for those who do watch them and who do enjoy them I'm going to keep doing them, it's as simple as that. Um, I don't do make my videos for any ulterior motive, it's just a hobby for me and I enjoy doing it and you know it's just I, I make them and if you guys, if just one guy watches them I'm completely happy. So for the ones who do watch them the Batman Eternal is going to keep coming. Um, that's a promise until the series is ended at issue for, uh, 52. Um, I do intend to get every issue. It's been strong so far, and unless they monumentally cock it up, I will do all 52 issues. If I suddenly decide that the series has gone shit, um, I may abandon it. If it goes shit, for, it'd have to go shit for 10 issues straight. Um, for me to just say like, no, this has just gone terrible. Um, but other than that, all 52 issues of Batman Eternal, when this ends next year, um, all 52 issues should be done. So that's one side. This is one that I've been intending to do for a while. I have reviewed it a couple of times, but I never uploaded the video for reasons that were my own. Um, I introduced a character to these reviews and I just thought it'd be a bit of fun. Uh, I do like theatrics occasionally. It's just, I thought it'd be fun to do. Um, but when I watched it back it came across while funny that I didn't take um, Marvel as seriously as I do DC. And I thought that would be a discredit to Marvel. So I didn't upload it and I'm just going to review it as I review anything. So Amazing Spider-Man, picking, um, picking up from where Superior left off, I'm going to review it. But before I talk about issue one, my voice is going a little, uh, before I do issue one I will talk a little bit about what happened in Superior. Not everything because uh, you may be tempted to go and pick up the series yourself. So I'll just give you kind of like a brief overview where we are uh, when issue one starts and that will continue monthly because I, I am on issue two and issue three is out I believe in two or three weeks time. Um, I believe it's two weeks time so if I can get one out this week, one out next week, I should be up to date and that will continue monthly. Um, this one is still up in the air at the moment because I don't have all the issues. It's something that I came to later. I thought I was going to give it a, um, a chance. I have said on my channel before I won't read it, but I lied. Um, <laughs> it turns out I couldn't help myself. And I picked up Future's End. I'm three issues deep. At the moment, is uh, six issues have been released. Seven is coming out this Wednesday. If I can catch up, I will review it, but I need to catch up first. I wouldn't start a review on issue one, then do issue two, then do issue five. Just I, I would do every single issue that comes out. And that's, that's the way it, it is. So if I can catch up, you can expect to review. If I can't catch up, if I can't get all the issues, then I won't, uh, I won't review. I mean, I haven't even read um, issues uh, two or three yet. I mean like I read one to give it a chance. I haven't read issues two or three because I want to make sure that I get the issues. So I haven't read those two. Um, I do know what happens a little uh, in this one because an issue one kind of clues you in. Um, so it's just like if I can catch up I will review them but as such I do not know what happens in this series myself yet. It's literally I just read the first issue just to give it a try and I thought actually this could be something worth talking about and the whole selling point for it has been this will change the course of the new 52 forever so it's just kind of like I kind of want to know what happens in it. Um, 
It could be that they lied and you know they said James and new new to forever and it's not going to. Um, but I kind of want to uh, I kind of want to read it and if I can catch up I will review it. If I can't catch up then I will probably stop reading it myself. Um, other comics that are coming up this month there will be Red Hood and the Outlaws issue 32 which was requested by Alex the Hunted as I've said if any of you guys request that I review something I will review it um, if I feel it's within my capability to do so. So um, Red Hood and the Outlaws 32 I will review that um, for at least five issues if I can't get invested after five issues I will give up. Um, as with any comic book that I read, um, if I'm not invested by issue 5, I give up. So um, after that, which is next month, there will be Grayson and Teen Titans issue 1 of both. Um, I will be reading those um, pretty much out of personal interest, but if I'm reading them I thought I may as well review them as well for you guys, just because uh, I do want to do more uh, comic books on my channel. I've got other comic uh, books as well, other series that um, I don't talk about and I don't uh, read them out, I just read them and I don't talk about them on camera and it would be too much work for me to actually catch up and let you guys know, uh, you know, the review of like that, I would be reviewing a lot of stuff. Um, also I have finished The Court of Owls, I wanted to review that as a graphic novel, just, um, you know, because I've been asked about it a few times, what do you think of Court of Owls, so I thought this would be... Um, a nice way to talk about it just because I have been asked about it a lot well I will review The Court of Owls because I bought it as a box set um, limited edition I showed you guys on camera but I'll show you just again now because it is nearby but um, Court of Owls I bought it as the limited edition collector's box set and even though I do want the graphic novel as well I read it in the original uh, print uh, comic prints as well uh, the monthly print and I read it there, there as well and that was as far as I got with uh, New 52 Batman I think actually I think I just read the opening story arc of Court of Owls um, you know so I would, thought I would review that as well but I can't guarantee that's going to turn up this week it may be next week it may be the week after just whenever I get round to doing it um, that uh, then I will be talking about the Court of Owls um, you know but I, that will be a review with spoilers it won't be the way I, I do it normally it will be talking about just everything about it because it's kind of old now I think it's uh, was it September October 2011 it's it's kind of old now you know it's been out for a few years year, few, few years so I think I can talk about what happens in the Court of Owls story arc and most people know what I'm talking about so it's going to be kind of like a review-ish um, I'll probably still title it as a review but um, it'll be more of a re review-ish that will contain uh, spoilers and I will talk about what I think about it, what I think about the art, what I think about the story, what I think about the characters and we'll talk about that literally uh, as much as I can uh, from that book. It's like, as I've said before I do enjoy it, I do like it um, but I will talk more in depth about what I like about it when I come to sit down and review it. So what else is coming to the channel? I've got next gen so I will be doing game reviews again I've played uh, like 99.9 .9 of this I've got like 10 minutes left I think uh, possibly 15 um, I'm literally right at the very end I know it's the very end you can tell when you're at the end of the game when something like this happens so it's just like you know it's I know I'm at the end of the game um, and I will be reviewing it um, uh, not as soon as I've beaten it but maybe tomorrow um, I will record my review of what I think of Wolfenstein in order. I'm not a stranger to Wolfenstein. I played, was it the 2008 Wolfenstein? I think it may have been 2008. It was titled just Wolfenstein. I played that. I played Return to Castle Wolfenstein and I played uh, Wolfenstein 3D back in the day when it was on Shareware. Um, ask your dad. Um, but Shareware um, is how I played Wolfenstein 3D on the school computer. Um, bizarrely enough, um, so yeah, I'm not a stranger to Wolfenstein. I have played three previous to this one, and sorry, my voice is like really hoarse. I played three series uh, previous to this one, and I will be reviewing it. So it's just like I have played, um, like as I said, near, near, nearly all of it. I'll be re 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 ready to review it tomorrow um, with uh, just just talk about it and what, what, what I think about it. And the last thing is, I am going to be streaming this on Twitch TV. 
I made the decision because I uh, spoke to Chill, uh, RL Chill, some of you who may be familiar with. I said, like, what do you think people will be interested in seeing, like, Wolfenstein or uh, Infamous Second Son? And he said, like, probably Infamous Second Son. Because uh, I'm not as invested in these two as, like, games, like, maybe, like, Dragon Age or Batman games. I would not stream them for the world. Uh, but it's just, like, he said, probably Infamous Second Son. It's just, like, I'm not as invested. It was just... That I got myself something to play but I thought that would be a good one actually because I don't know the world of Infamous all that well I haven't played the first one I haven't played the second one and I tried this for an hour at a friend's house um, and I was about halfway through the game and to be honest I didn't really get all that into it but that was possibly maybe because I only did play an hour so I thought like it would be a really good one so you guys can like say well you know this is what this is in this world I will have the chat open um, this is what happens in this world, you know, this is, you know, what things are, I'm probably going to be asking a lot of questions and regardless I do talk to myself a hell of a lot when I'm playing games, so um, I'm probably going to be talking constantly, apart from when cutscenes are playing, I do not talk during the cutscenes, um, because I want to enjoy the game like you guys do, so I will be streaming uh, twitch.tv slash n7strider, um, I will also probably tweet it as I'm about to do it, and that will be 10 p.m. UK time. Uh, you'll have to Google your local one, but uh, 10 p.m. UK time. The World Cup starts half an hour afterwards. I will be streaming this for quite a long time across Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 10 p.m. If you want to avoid the World Cup, I don't like the World Cup. I thought this would be a good time to do it, play some games, you know, and you guys can join me, see what I'm up to, playing uh, play, playing games, and uh, you know, we can literally, you can li literally help me through that because I don't know much about the world of Infamous, if I'm completely honest. Um, so I just thought I would give it a try. It seems to be like all the things I enjoy, open world, superpowers, you know, I, that, I'm down for that. Um, so it's, I thought, now with the World Cup being on, not everyone likes football, it will be a good time to, uh, you know, stream something and you can join me for that. You don't have to sit there and watch your, uh, watch football if you don't want to. Not everyone likes it. Uh, personally, so this is like, I will probably just check in on the score um, as we're playing. Um, for the England match and only the England match and I'll probably just say that. I'm just going to take a quick 10 minute break just to check the score at the end of the match when it's ended I will just check the score no we've lost and then um, I'm back so it's just like I will intend to take like breaks because I will be going for quite a long time playing game for myself if you just want to join me and just say hi uh, and then disappear again I'm completely down with that too um, so just like it's a new thing for me but I've like I've tested it I know how it works um, it took me a while to figure out I figure it out but I got there in the end um, so yeah it's, that's going to be a new thing for me so if you just want to just drop around and just say hi and then go again I'm completely down for that um, bear in mind there is some delay though apparently over Twitch so just like if I don't say hi straight <laughs> straight away to you just like so my, the chat will be open on my screen I'll be able to see you um, but like if that seems to be like pretty popular and it goes down well and you guys want to see me do it again uh, then I'll do it again so it's as simple as that but over Tuesday Wednesday Thursday because the World Cup is on not everyone likes football 10 p.m. British time I will be streaming it from the second sun for those who don't like football it's just if you're if you're available to watch it at that time that's fine um, but after 10 p.m. just make sure you just swing swing by uh, twitch dot tv slash n7 strider um, because I may still be going at maybe like 7 in the morning I may still be going it's just like I am an eye towel and I do play games for the longest like stretch of time uh, during the night that I will be so it's just like I really want to play this game from what I understand it's pretty good and uh, I don't want to play it myself so it's just like I probably I will be playing for quite some time so it's just like if it's past 10 games it's just like thinking it's over like you know like um, if it's been an hour or two hour just drop by it may, it, may, it may be that I could still be going I may be going for three four or five hours possibly even longer um, if I get really into the game I may just go on a massive stretch you know like maybe for like seven eight nine hours um, 
I see where we go because um, you know I will be taking breaks during that time. So if you're thinking like you know you need a bathroom break or anything, I'll just say like, look, I'm going to pause uh, ten minutes. I'm going to get myself a drink, bathroom break, whatever. Uh, you guys will be able to do that as well. So if you want to join me for the massive stretch that I, I hopefully if I get into the game, I hope I do. Um, you know, we we can do the whole like huge stretches together if you're available for it. I do understand it's a weekday. Some of you are going to have school and work and college and university and all that good stuff. Um, but I'm personally not in work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I thought like, what the hell? Um, I'm, I'll go and just like stream as much as I can during the nights um, because I am generally awake during the night time. So I'll just to clarify: 10 p.m. British time. Uh, Twitch.tv slash N7 Strider, uh, you'll will find me there. Just Google your own your own time zone, 10 p.m. You'll see when it is that I'm starting. I'll give it like 10 minutes afterwards. Um, just if you guys want to turn up, that's fine. Or if you just want to turn up, just say hi and then go again afterwards. That's completely fine too. Um, just I know there's only going to be like maybe a few people there, just like maybe two or three, um, maybe four or five if I'm lucky. And just we'll, we'll go we'll go from there. We'll just you can help me understand the world of Infamous that little bit better, uh, because I literally do not know the story of Infamous. I've not seen him a play through of it. I've not played Infamous one or two, so um, I couldn't possibly comment. So I think that's everything I wanted to talk about. That's where we're going now with the channel. So game reviews are coming back, but it's not going to be a heavy featuring thing. It's just, so literally any game that I play. I will review it, but I don't intend to get that many games. It's literally I, I'm going to watch. There's going to be no like impulse purchases. I'm just going to like watch what I'm spending. Um, I think we all need to tighten our belt buckles a bit at the moment because things are starting to look pretty grim. Uh, hopefully, things will take an upturn pretty soon. Um, so stay safe, and I've been in Seven Strider, and I should go.